subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update. Friends, welcome to Manipal Kitchen. Today I am sharing the recipe of sweet potato rolled paratha. For that I have, uh, I have, uh, I am showing you the fresh sweet potato which I bought from the market. I have. Uh, washed and pat dried now i am cutting it into pieces sweet potato is rich in fiber which helps in burning belly fat and lose weight it contains vitamin a and provides potassium sweet potato is considered to be a superfood as it is loaded with health benefits so i have chopped it into pieces and adding it into the cooker with half cup of water in it and now close the lid and cook for 8 minutes till it is soft. They are loaded with beta carotene which functions as a potent antioxidant and a rich source of vitamin A. Now check after cooking if it is done. Say I have no job of even peeling so all the peel has separated and I used it just crush. Now add 1 cup of wheat atta to the bowl and add salt as needed to the uh, to it and then add 1 teaspoon baggy chilli powder Add half teaspoon turmeric powder, half teaspoon coriander powder, half teaspoon garam masala powder, half teaspoon roasted cumin powder, one fourth teaspoon black pepper powder, coarse coarse black pepper which I coarse fresh, huh? one fourth teaspoon amchur powder. 2 pinches of crushed adjoint seeds, 1 fifth teaspoon normal cumin seeds, 1 chopped green chilli finely chopped, 1 inch ginger finely chopped and it is grated also very fine, 3 tablespoons of chopped coriander leaves finely chopped. 2 third cup of mashed potato, sweet potato which we had cooked, I just mashed it and kept. Now mix with the, with your hands till combined well. Actually, I don't think we need any water because uh, sweet potato is crushed in such a way, cooked in such a way that it has a lot of moisture and I could knead it into a soft dough. See, it, the dough is so soft and uh, we'll apply a little cooking, 1 teaspoon cooking oil and uh, just rest it for 30 minutes hmm. I need it need it and keep it aside and then rest it for 30 minutes or half an hour whatever it is now after resting for 30 minutes knead it again just knead and pinch out the, a lemon sized dough and knead well and flatten it yeah and then dust it in wheat atta and roll it on a plastic sheet, thick plastic sheet. Yeah. Roll it. Dust again to roll it bigger because it may need little bit of a dusting. And roll it, roll it evenly to about six to seven inches diameter. Don't even need much atta to roll or to dust it. Now place it on the hot skillet. And when, when it is firm and you can flip, just flip. That means it is cooked on the back side. See now, sprinkle little ghee all over. Drizzle little ghee all over. And then press it with a spatula so that it cooks even on all the sides and brown dots will appear. Look now the brown dots are appearing. Again flip. It's puffing up. See, see it's puffs, puffing up. Now the paratha is cooked and transferred to a plate. We get 8 parathas in this measurement and enjoy with chutney and chutney powder and or curds. Please subscribe to my channel and for more recipes. Till then, bye bye.